does Jamie Lloyd exist in the H2O timeline? Fans of the original Halloween timeline will always remember that fateful scene in Halloween 4 where Jamie Lloyd, dressed in her clown costume, puts on her mask and grabs a pair of scissors and stabs her foster mother multiple times, seemingly setting herself up to become the new shape, only for the utter disappointment of Halloween 5 to retcon that away. Later on, after Halloween 6 fails to keep the franchise going, the studios decided to reboot the series with Halloween H2O, retconning everything after Halloween 2. However, there is still a small group of fans that refuse to believe that H2O is a timeline reboot. The biggest point of their evidence being the pair of bloody scissors seen on Dr. Loomis's board next to his map detailing possible sightings of Michael Myers since 1978 at the beginning of Halloween H2O. The board also contains articles and clippings about Loomis being world-renowned for his work on Michael. Which is odd, because if it is connected to Halloween 4, 5, and 6, Loomis is seen as a crazy old man and seemingly only renowned in Haddonfield for his role in that Halloween night in 1978. However, these articles paint a very different picture of Loomis. We also see pictures of victims that we've never seen before, murdered in various different ways, with the pins in the map indicating that Michael possibly has traveled all over the state and even beyond that to neighboring states too, assuming it actually was Michael and Loomis wasn't being paranoid and blaming every murder on Myers. Meaning that in this timeline, the scissors we see are likely from a suspected case that Loomis investigated, which makes sense considering that Jamie is nowhere mentioned on Loomis's board, and considering that the board is all about Michael with maybe one picture of Lori from Halloween 2, it would be out of place to focus on a weapon that Jamie Lloyd used, especially since it didn't kill her intended victim. Which also wouldn't make sense that her body itself wouldn't be placed on Loomis's board, considering her relationship to Michael and being Lori Strode's daughter. And given that Loomis's relationship with Jamie was, I wouldn't say close, but close enough for him to acknowledge her to some degree, which if H2O was connected to the previous films, makes it a bit odd. I could also get into the details of the scissors looking similar, but being different. But it wouldn't mean much considering the critical continuity errors with the Myers house in the mask in Halloween 5. So unfortunately, that kind of information cannot be used no matter how blatant. We can, however, use the information given to us by the characters. In H2O, the two detectives talk about the possibility of Myers being the killer of Marion Chambers and the two young boys she talks to at the beginning of the film, mentioning that his body was never found in 1978, which directly contradicts the fact that Michael was in a 10-year coma in a hospital to be transferred at the beginning of Halloween 4. Not to mention, for detectives that are stationed in Illinois, presumably close to Haddonfield since the house that Marion lived in was also the home of Dr. Loomis. I find it odd that one of the detectives makes fun of his age being 41, when if H2O was in the same continuity as the prior films, he would know about the massacres in Haddonfield from Halloween 4 at the very least, since it was widely known by the whole town that Myers was on the loose again which also resulted in the murder of Hattonfield's police force 
and that was when Michael was 31. That doesn't take into account the time jump that we get from Halloween 4 to Halloween 5 when Michael is killing even more police officers. And then the time jump that we get from Halloween 5 to Halloween 6. So if H2O is in the same continuity, the joke about Michael's age literally has no place. All of that, on top of the obvious, Lori never acknowledging Jamie as her daughter, or even ever existed, even when giving exposition to her boyfriend about her life as Lori Strode, overall just confirms what most of us already know. H2O is in fact a timeline reboot. But do you agree? Or do you think the timelines are connected? Comment below with your theories and be sure to like, share, and subscribe as well as hitting the notification bell to be alerted whenever a new video is uploaded. And as always, I am JG Dark and thanks for watching.